This is Mike and Juliana Haldi, and we've been going to Care City essentially since the beginning of uh, when it was opened over at the White Church. We moved to Houston not knowing anybody except for a couple people that were, you know, family. But outside of that, we didn't have anybody other than, you know, my work uh, colleagues. But you know, moving into some place it's very intimidating, and obviously stepping into a place where you know, you start to develop relationships at church and then go into small groups and be able to, you know, see that flourish and develop the relationships that really, you know, kind of fill that spot in your life, I guess, you know, is, is what's encouraging for us. We were on the fence at one point, you know, before we decided to become part of a group and I mean, I'm glad we did it. I mean, it was intimidating. I was intimidated. I don't know. Do this, <laughs> trying to like get to know people and watching all of our kids. It was a typical small group, and people were going through different stages of their life with kids or without kids or you know young couples. So you know, and some of them were in different stages from a, a perspective with where they're at with their walk with Christ. And so it was just a lot of different perspective. A lot of people were much more scholarly or biblical than others, and much more read. But, but I think kind of what made it special to us was that there was a quick connection with kids and wives and, and um, you know, really that drew the families together that, that really clicked. And out of that, I would say we had, you know, two or three families that we really connected with. And, and you know, from that point, it, it wasn't just a small group. It was, you know, we were doing life. We were it was not just one day a week where you're meeting going through whatever the study was it was you know we're talking about other things we're meeting for coffee the guys are meeting for coffee on friday mornings and then it built it spurred from there we were taking vacations together and re really just really good friendship and and you know that what the special part about that for for me was that you know you, you knew there was some good valued moral people that are in your life that you get you could talk to about you know anything that you needed to so you know that that to me was special yeah we quickly went from just like basically like another sunday morning on wednesday night to really like doing life with these people and really essentially they became our family and you know, just the level of trust and accountability that you get from a group like that when you really just are real with them it's just yeah, you just have that group that you can just lean on. I think just the openness and everybody's there for a, for a good reason. I mean, people want to be involved with that um, to grow themselves, I think, more than, and to connect. I, I mean, I think a, a big part of that is just the connections and the opportunity that there is for other people just to lend you a hand and to help with whatever you are that you're going through or with you know, anything, any of the, the things, but just to grow your relationships with people. It can't hurt. I mean, it can't hurt. We were with each other through the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, we were there for a family that was going through some really hard stuff, and they were there when, you know, we had some stuff, and they were just there. But then we also celebrate the good things. I mean, it's just, yeah. When you're just really real with people, it's just, and can really have the time, and I mean, it takes effort, but I mean, when you put in the effort just to get to know people, it's just, it's a really good thing.